doesn't it look amazing? Like, get into it. Welcome back to my channel. I am Tashara Baker, and I'm going to show you guys today how to do this quick 10 to 15 minute look. Doesn't it look amazing? Like, get into it. And this is no foundation. This is concealer, contour, highlight, blush, um, powder, lashes, lips, and go. And a little bit of eyeshadow. So yeah, um, I did this look within other 10 minutes. It is very highly requested. So many people on my Snapchat always ask, can you please film this look? Please, because I'm always saying, guys, I did this under 10 minutes. I did this under 10 minutes. And today, I finally made time to get this done for you guys. So please like, comment, and turn on my post notifications so you guys can be notified when I do make videos. And I actually think I want to start making more makeup videos and, you know, mix it with my vlogs. And so you guys let me know in the comments what more would you guys like to see. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video because it's it's so everything it's just like so quick it's so cute and it's like makeup no makeup it's like a really quick on the go like if you're in a rush if you have to be somewhere really fast if anything and you just need a 10 a, a quick 10 minute look this is the video for you so without further ado let's get into it okay so we're gonna jump right in this so first things first I go in and I prime my face with my pump We're gonna rub that all over our face and move on. So once we're done um, priming our face with our moisturizing our face, I go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and you could go in with any concealer, but I don't put foundation for this look because it's very quick and very fast. So we go in with our I mean with our concealer first, and you put it in your highlighted area. So we're gonna go in and put it under our eyes. I don't use too much because like I said, it's just a quick face. In your T-zone, you're gonna go lip, chin, nose and forehead. So then after I put my concealer, I go in with my contour, I'm gonna use my black opal. So now we're gonna go in and contour on your cheekbones. Now I know how dirty my thing is. Cheekbones. Forehead. Chin bone. Boom, like so. And I don't do it with my nose with the cream contour because it's just a soft look. So you'll see how I do my nose when that gets there. So the little bit of foundation that I do use is the Superstay 24 hour. So I just go and put it under the area, like only in specific areas. So I'll just put a dot right here. Some right there. Some right here. On this part on my cheek. And right here, just a little bit right here. And that's it. So that's the little bit of foundation that I do use. So I don't put it all over my whole face. I just put it in specific areas. So then after that, we'll go in and blend. I'm gonna start with my chin first. I'm using a I'm using a beauty blender. So go in and blend. Now I'm gonna do my top lip, forehead. Then we're gonna do our under eye. So before I finish like blending my under eye a little bit more, that's when I'm gonna go in with the bottom of my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend that foundation that I went to put. Then you're gonna go back in and blend that concealer. So I kinda did that so it wouldn't really get mixed with the foundation so like as I'm blending my concealer that it doesn't start to that that like the foundation doesn't start to go into my concealer because then I'll have brown like the brown foundation mixed in with my lighter under eye so you don't want that so that's why I go in and blend that foundation before I continue blending my under eye so then I'll go back and blend that foundation that I put on my cheek under my contour So once my um, concealer is blended, that 
that foundation I put, then I'll go back in and contour the um, um, where I put the black opal on my cheeks. Make sure all of that is blended. Take your time so there's no harsh lines. Like you don't want to finish your makeup with a harsh line on your chin, on your cheek, or your forehead because then people will be able to be like, yeah, she did not blend her contour correctly. So make sure you blend that, guys. Okay. Okay, so once everything is blended, I'll go back in with my beauty blender just to make sure that nothing looks too crazy and everything looks seamlessly blended together before we put powder. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I don't put too much because this is just a soft, simple look. So I'm gonna go in with that beauty blender. I'm gonna put some back and then I'm gonna damp it on my hand just to get the excess powder off and put it on those highlighted areas that you put your concealer. So once my face has um, been set, that's when I go in with my Sephora um, pressed powders. I have the shades 510 and then I have Deep 50. So I'll go in with both of them to get the powder off of my face just to give me a good matte finish look. And that's how you'll get that very matte look. That very soft matte look that a lot of people are going for these days. So once all the powder is off my face, that's when I'll go in with my Morphe Contour Palette. And it's very pretty. And I'll use these two shades to contour my face. So you guys know how we, how, how we use cream contour at the beginning. So everything that you use cream on, you always want to go back and set with the powder. So just how when we did the concealer and we blended it in, then we went back and set it with the translucent Laura Mercier powder. And then we cream contoured our face with the black opal. And now we went back in and set that with some Morphe contour powder. And this is when I'll contour my nose. So I'll just take a little bit, just do a little quick contour. And boom, boom, dark. Then I'll go in and blend that. Just make sure it's blended. It doesn't look too harsh. You never want harsh line. And then in the same palette, I'll go in with my blush. And so for this look, I do a quick, quick, really quick eyeshadow. So I'll use um, the darker shade in this palette. For my eyes when I'm doing a really quick look, I use this one. So, it's just so quick, y'all. You literally just back and forth putting on some eyeshadow, just like this. Just to give the look a little, you know. A little. Boom, just that something. And I do my eyeliner as well, and then I'll put the same shade that I put on my top lid on my bottom as well. Then I'll put on my lashes. So I got these lashes from Yaya Minx on Instagram. Um, I got the Chloe and Jada lashes and I think I'm going to use the Jada lashes. So I'm gonna put these on really quick and I'll be right back. Woo, these lashes are very dramatic. Um, I'm so used to some baby lashes, but so now that my lashes are on, I go in with my um, Lash Voluminous. So then after that, I'm gonna go in with, this is the foundation, I mean the highlighter I was telling you guys about, it's the Master Ho Holographic. And it is so pretty. The purple is so pretty. And I'm gonna go in with a brown lip liner and line my lip. And then, y'all know I go in with my concealer as my lips. And just like that. So 
until everything is done and then we'll use our setting spray um, I have the the um, Evian facial mist spray and y'all are probably wondering like you didn't do your eyebrows so on these type of looks guys I do not do my eyebrows because it's just really quick it's a 10 minute look and then it's very natural so I feel like I don't really need to do my eyebrows because it's just a quick look but if you do want to fill in your eyebrows you can just go in with a pencil just put a couple marks just to line it out and don't conceal it if you want it to just look natural but yeah on most days I do not do my eyebrows but that is the complete of this look so I'm going to step off camera do my hair get dressed and I'll be right back okay guys so that is the end of this look I hope it was very helpful for you guys I hope you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and leave some comments down below of you know whatever you guys would like to know any products um whatever you guys would like to see just let me know anything below okay um and I would greatly appreciate it and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one